Hey all you cold cats and welcome back to another episode of Persona Q2. So, fun fact, I actually already have um, episode, I think it's episode 6 recorded, but I never got to edit it due to all kinds of illness and everything coming up. This is the first new episode I've recorded in probably months now, but um, with the quarantine and everything, uh, I'm finally getting back to my healthy self. Uh, surprisingly, when the world is coming apart, um, I'm getting better somehow. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue onwards. Honestly, I had to rewatch a little bit of the previous episode to remember what was going on. But that's okay, because we're just going to go right back into it. So, um, let's go ahead. Admit one. So we go in through the screen, right? I'm getting kind of nervous. You're going to. Hikari-chan? Hikari-chan? Why? You're not even looking for the same people. You're not even looking for go with them, you might not even find who you're looking for. <laughs> You've got a point. But nothing's certain in this world, and this problem isn't going to solve itself. When I thought about what I wanted to do, I realized I wanted to go with them. That's all there was to it. Because they rescued you? To repay them for what they did? Well, of course there's that. But more importantly, I understand their situation too well. I have missing companions who are important to me, too. Companions. Would your missing friends happen to be Persona users as well? Yeah, yeah, everyone in C says, See this armband? That stands for Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. Oh, that's cool. It's like proof that you're all part of a team. <laughs> right? Although, I'm the only member here now. Don't worry, we got your back. Let's do our best, together. Oh, I get to be part of the Phantom Thieves until I find everyone. Or, uh, is that fine with you? That was our intention. <laughs> Yeah, don't know why, but it feels like you already fit in with us perfectly. Whoa, damn. Her social skills are seriously god tier. But companions, I don't understand. It's nothing. Hikari-san. Hikari! I don't feel like saying... When, when it's just practically what they're being said, I don't need to repeat it. I used to think it's easier being alone too, but... I met everyone, and, um... 
思ってるど,どうも Nowadays, I know it's like not bad having friends, right, Akio? Um, I'm stronger with my friends. So, I see. But I still don't really get it. Come now, isn't there something of more importance at the moment? It appears the movie will not change until you progress further within it. Mm-hmm. Nothing happened until now. There haven't been any changes at all. But when you all came here, the plot suddenly started to progress. Hmm. Hmm. That means we've really got to get back in there. I'm worried about the ladies. Right. If we're going to learn anything about this place, we need to return to the movie. All right, Joker. Give us the infiltration signal when you're ready. You know, there's something about the citizens here. They're sort of eerie. Oh, you got that feeling too, Mina-chan. Everyone's trying to convince themselves that a hero of justice is always right and can do no wrong. But it's like they refuse to think about what really matters, figuring out what justice actually is. It's like they're just going about with the flow. The justice here is absolute, all because they're told it is. Yeah, none of them are even trying to think for themselves. Kamoshida man ain't right in the first place. These people don't make any sense either. <sighs> if anything goes in the name of justice, this place is nastier than Kamoshida before his heart was changed. Well, that's more of a reason for us to not dally around here then. Let's hurry up with the rescue operation. Are you okay, Noir? Queen. Uh, and you, Queen? I'm managing. Where could we be? Is this Mementos? Or could it be a palace? Not sure. Our intel's extremely limited at the moment on both Kamoshida Man and this place. The next time he shows up, I need to try and get as much information from him as I. <laughs> what are you gossiping about? Have you finally decided to confess your misdeeds? Speak of the devil. I'm going to ask you one more time. Where are we? Who are you? Are you still groggy from your little nap? Don't make me state the obvious. This is my city, Kamo City, and I am the reigning hero of absolute justice, Kamo Shidaman. Kamoshida man? Not Suguru Kamoshida, the former teacher of Shujin High? Shujin Gakuen? Moto Kyoshi? Nan no koto da? Shujin High, former teacher, what are you going on about? Gakko wo jibun no shiro da to omoi konde. Yari tai hodai ni shite ta. You considered the school your own castle and did whatever you wanted. Shiro? Mata wake no wakara nai koto. Yomai goto wa sono kurai ni shite murao. 
A castle? Look at you two blathering even more nonsense. I've had enough of this balderdash. Just as I thought. He looks like Kamashita, but he's totally a different person. More importantly, I have news for you! The details of your punishment have been decided! You are to be executed as enemies of the city and wretched opponents of myself. Sh Shoke? <laughs> executed? Indeed, judgment must be laid down upon evil. And it shall be done by my hand, the absolutely just hand of Kamoshiraman. I refuse to accept this. We've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Evil or just, I'm the one who makes the decision. That is my duty as the head of Kamo City. If I do not lead the citizens, this city will plunge into chaos. Can't you hear them? The voices of the people yearning for peace. Those two are the evil threatening Kamo City. That's what Kamoshidaman said, so it's gotta be true. Yeah, all we have to do is listen to whatever Kamoshidaman says. Anyone defying Kamoshidaman is evil. That's what everybody says. <laughs> now do you understand? All I'm doing is fulfilling my duty as the mighty ruler of these powerless citizens. The people in this city are just being controlled by you. They don't believe in what you say. Whoever has the power decides the rules. Defying such power is nonsense. <laughs> you should feel honored to be punished by me, the hero of absolute justice. <laughs> so you're the arbiter of what's good and bad just because you have the most power? That's not right. We won't let you do as you please with us. I'm certain that Joker and the others will. Not even a single word of apology, eh? It seems you aren't very penitent yet. Well then, get on your knees and beg before all the citizens, and I just may forgive you. I'd never do such a thing. How foolish it is to defy the strong, and how righteous it is to obey one's ruler. You will make an excellent opportunity to remind the citizens of these facts. <laughs> Let's hold off the execution a bit longer. Reflect upon your actions until then. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Uh. 
He could have just killed them here. Not that I wanted him to, but he could have just killed them right here, and that would have been that would have been crazy. And probably more accurate to what an evil person would actually do. I don't understand the point in keeping us alive to prove a point. What point are you proving? Killing us faster would really, like... Not that I'm complaining. It would make more logical sense with, with, within your evil logic. But whatever. Keep an eye on these two. They're bent on destroying the peace of my city. Huh. Sir. What a deplorable excuse for justice. I can't believe everyone just obeys him. Watch it. Kamoshida man is what everyone strives to be. Even your captor was a colleague of ours who models himself after our hero. Wait, do you mean that thing that attacked us? Now that you mention it, that costume. It was like a cruder version of Kamoshida Man's. <laughs> no matter how much you resist, you'll never win against Kamoshida Man. As long as we still have that around, Kamoshida Man is invincible. That? Then again, Kamoshida Man has judged you as evil, so there's no escaping your punishment. <laughs> With him laughing in his belly out, he actually does look like a fat policeman now. No matter how much you plead, all you can do is sit and wear and wait for your death. Ha 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 ha. If he's invincible as long as he has that... Then that inverse should be true. He can be harmed once that is gone. But what could it be? I don't know. That gold statue behind us? Um... You can't go through from this side. Yeah, but I was just looking at it. Okay, so... Um, what I really want to do is I want to get a little bit of levels here because I... I brought Mina along, so... This is so hard. I don't know if I can win this. Come on. Yeah, no kidding. That was close. I can't believe I'm gonna have to leave immediately. In fact, if I'm not gonna even have completed anything, I think I might just love that save up. Holy smokes, that was dangerous. Whoa, what the hell is that? It's huge! Seems to be a type of FOE, different from the one we've previously seen. It doesn't seem to be on any sort of patrol, but that doesn't mean it's not dangerous. 
It even has more searchlights around it. You better take extra off. care around that thing. Make sure you proceed carefully, Joker. Not enemy advantage. Ah, he got away. That was a lot of work for not a lot. <laughs> you gonna press it? Yeah, let's press that switch. Hmm? Wait a second, is that? Huh? I thought the FOE didn't move! It's possible that it only starts moving whenever there's an issue with the searchlights. I guess one could call it a dual security system. That's going to be a real bother. So you're saying their behavior is linked to the switches. This isn't good. It doesn't matter how it works. All we gotta do is dodge them like usual, yeah? I mean, come on. All this security just screams that something suspicious is down this way. Mmm, Skull is right. We shouldn't have any problems if we just exercise some caution. Let's go, Joker! Alright, so... That thing is definitely gone. I'm a little... Yes! Yes! Okay, so it's weak to boo foo. Oh my gosh, I really needed this to happen. Oh no! さっさと消し出そう。やってやる。やるよ。よし、いいぞ。我が決意の証を見よう。グッズ、もな。マン。覚悟の時間だ。
Yes. Oh, on. You're so beautiful. <laughs> oh. This is just a sample of like some of the fighting that's happening here. I'm not going to include every battle, but holy smokes. Everything is just this hard. <laughs> I just can't hold back anymore. I'm too curious. What's the matter? Feel free to ask me whatever you'd like. Oh, whatever. No, don't. Do you really mean it? Whatever we like. Jeez, what's wrong with you two? Just ignore them. You go right ahead. Then I'll come out and say it. How did you guys pick your outfits? They're all so unique. Huh? Oh, uh, well, it's like, um, how does it work? It's difficult for us to answer when you phrase it that way. Our attire is merely the outcome of certain events, not something we chose ourselves. Really? So you guys don't like how they look? Well, I like mine at least. <laughs> Good, so it's not an issue. I think you all look so cool in them. So, how do you transform? Is it like how magical girls do it? Uh, we don't really know. I guess it's, well, you know, it's like... Pass. You explain it, Fox. None. Pass. I see. So that's allowed here. In that case, I shall pass as well, leaving it for Panther. Oh, come on! Why'd you stick it with... Stick me with it? Um, uh, um, I'm passing too! Joker! I'm passing three. <laughs> Good grief. I'll explain it for you. The attire is, represents our will of rebellion, our desire to defy the distorted world. Basically, depending on the circumstances, the Phantom Thief attire just designs itself. <laughs> Whoa, I see. Actually, I don't get it at all. Well, it's not like we actually get it either. So, uh, are we really dressed all that strangely? I'm used to it by now, but it was really embarrassing at first, and it gave me a lot of grief. No, they're great! They're perfect for the whole Phantom Thief thing. I wish I could disguise myself too. That's just part of the Phantom Thief charm. I totally get what you mean. Uh-huh, so what about you, Mona? What's it like inside your cat costume? Can I try taking the head off? My head doesn't come off. This isn't a costume. Oh, I see. I mean, obviously, I thought you were a... I am not a cat either. I'm obviously human. This conversation is music to my ears. <gasps> that reminds me. There's something I've been curious about for a while, Mina-chan. Why, um, why do you put a gun to your head whenever you summon a persona? Oh, yeah, you guys don't use these, do you? All the members of Seas have these gun-shaped devices we call the Evokers. We summon our personas by willing ourselves to pull the Evokers trigger while pointed at our own heads. Damn, you gotta be like really determined to summon a persona. Whether it's your outfits or my Evoker, there seems to be a few different ways to summon. That's pretty cool. Hmm, perhaps I should inject some flair into my own persona summoning. For example. <laughs> I can become a tableau of complex emotion, like sorrowful yet ferocious. Yeah, yeah, sounds great. Can we get going now? You have no idea how long this movie is. That's a good point. Let's go. Okay. Magic cloth receipt? I don't know what that is. Woo! 
That was close. Like the square you're searching for is down the left path. Okay, so what about the right one? That one's too dangerous. It's infested with FLEs. Definitely don't want to go that way. Seriously? Well, we better not go near it. Infested. Infested. Hmm. Infested. Stop that! Are you casting a spell or something? Yep. Oh, I was merely curious as to why they're gathered there. Could they be guarding something? You think there might be treasure? I understand the curiosity, but rescuing Queen and Noir comes first right now. So then, eh? He's right. If we go devilishly poking around, who knows what unexpected... Quiet. Someone's coming. We better set up flashier lighting for the exhibition. Yeah, that'll really do a number for Kamoshiraman's power and his control over the city. For the sake of Kamo City's safety and peace, we must have the best lighting as possible. Mm. They seem to be discussing the exhibition. It sounds like it'll be quite the production. What are they talking about? It's that awful punishment exhibition. They're planning to publicly execute our friends. Looks like they haven't spotted us yet. What should we do, Joker? Let's eavesdrop on them. But, I agree with Joker. We might be able to pick up some clues from them. Hey, so Kamoshida Man is doing the right thing here, yeah? Don't be stupid. Are you questioning his judgment? You better watch what you say. I mean, yeah, those criminals deserve punishment. But do we really have to make a show out of it? It's thanks to those public executions that we're able to maintain the peace. Witnessing the punishment for evildoers sets the citizens straight, which means less work for us, right? Yeah, I guess so. If we get to live peacefully, sacrificing criminals is a cheap price to pay. Alright, let's keep- let's get to prepping the light work so Kamashita's man's show will be a big success. Light work, huh? Uh, what's the deal with that total nonsense? Queen and Noir aren't even criminals! Sacrifices can't be helped if they're for the justice, I huh? Can't say I agree with that argument. Any form of justice built on sacrifice will ring hollow. <laughs> yeah, talk about a load of bullshit! At the very least, it's awfully different from the justice that we believe in. So let's keep pushing forward and prove them wrong. Okay, that's the way. Joker, turn back! That's not a good way to go! It's full of FOEs and searchlights! There's no need to wander right into the enemy's trap. We need to prioritize rescuing Queen and Noir for now. Come on, let's search elsewhere! Yeah, but wouldn't you agree that this is probably the way we're gonna have to go? Or that it's got really sweet treasure that we're gonna miss out on? <laughs> Encounter. No, not enemy advantage. <laughs> Excellent. What is the We got some nice stuff from this, though. Probably gonna back out of here as soon as I've uncovered a little more ground. <clears throat> Don't sell that. We can always clip that onto somebody else. Alright. 
Oh wait, no, I need to back go homes. <laughs> but anyways, I think I think this is a good place to stop. Um, next episode we'll definitely go down and um, we'll save Makoto next episode for sure. Makoto and Haru. I'm gonna buy some extra go homes. <laughs> And I think I... that'll do it. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Fusion. a really cool persona that I just made.